some shocking news that uh, is going to probably just lay waste everybody in here. But uh, <laughs> no super bingo today. Super uh, super bingo. Bingo. As you know, why am I here? You could probably guess. I'm just going to talk a little bit about fundraising. The JREF is a nonprofit, and we're in a recession now. And the JREF has a fairly sizable staff for the size of the organization it is. And since DJs come on board, we're doing we've got a huge roster of things. A lot of stuff I can't tell you, or I'd have to kill you. Changes that are coming are so exciting, everybody's, I can't imagine that everybody won't be thrilled with, with what's happening. Um, but we do have to, we do have to fund these, uh, these programs. Um, currently, we don't have a lot of actual programs kind of running. Um, the Million Dollar Challenge doesn't need specific funding. Uh, but the programs that are coming up, specifically in education, will, will need funding. So. Um, Jeff and Susie are going to pass out our, our little form. This is actually an older form, but it's just all we have here. So it talks about uh, ways you can donate, uh, sort of like a payment plan. So if you want to give $1,000, but you couldn't get $1,000 in two years if you wanted, you can give it over three years at 90 cents a day. If everybody in the room um, gave $1,000, over three years, then that would fund that would fund the education <coughs> program. So just as an example, so I'd like to pass that out. You guys can just think about it. That's all I want to say. I think DJ has a couple words he wants to say. Oh, sure thing, Bart. Thank you, Bart. Um, y yes, I think uh, in the history of JREF, uh, we've been like a lot of nonprofits are reluctant to ask people for money, especially secular nonprofits, because, hey, we don't want to ape the churches, right? We don't want to tell people, dig deep. Uh, but let me just tell you, when I was in a church, Worldwide Church of God, as a teenager, joined when I was 14, not only did every member of that church tithe, like a lot of members of churches, but because this was a special kind of church, sociologists of religion consider the Worldwide Church of God a cult, no kidding, we had to pay what was called a second tithe, right? And I'm not exaggerating, just look it up on Wikipedia. There was a third tithe, and then there was a tithe of tithes every seven years. No hype. When I was in that church, I put my money where my heart was. I kind of bought all that stuff, hook, line, and sinker. We're asking you to put a little of your treasure where your brain is. Of course, your heart's here, too. But if we're going to be able to do all of the things Randy's talked about and that we're uh, planning for the future, we need and we're counting on your financial support. Bart was right when he mentioned if everybody in this room uh, saw it fit to pledge 25 bucks a month, it's just right around $25 a month, that would be just under $100,000 over the next three years. And that would be enough to fund our printing and distribution of DVDs and other resources for our JREF in the Classroom program. <coughs> it would go a long way helping finance our new hire, which we hope to place by the end of this month, a director of educational programs. But there's so much more. And, and I've had conversations with a number of you. A number of you, I think, because you care about this stuff, you might be able to afford more than $25 a month. You know, we all go to Starbucks, you know, four bucks we spend on coffee. <coughs> Uh, uh, I think uh, not all of us. I'd be scolded if I did such a thing. Uh, but uh, I, th I think that because we're all here, we know that this is where it's at. The JREF shares your values, advocates for your values. Our mission is your mission. And the real uh, way that I see donations, it's not you're giving up your money for a nonprofit. What you're doing is buying units of mission. You're investing in the JREF so it can do what you want to be done. So thanks, Jeff, for, uh, pardon, Bart, for kind of sharing uh, this opportunity for you guys to get involved. And if anyone throughout the course of the day has questions about fundraising, please do see Bart or myself. And we would love, before the cruise is over, to get a copy uh, of this from you filled out. I look forward to that. Thank you.